Hi guys, okay, so what I'm going to be doing today is just a quick recap on the uh, Temba Switch 10 bag that I, uh, I bought um, to go on holiday to Hong Kong, Taiwan and Japan. Absolutely amazing holiday as well, I'd, I'd definitely recommend Japan, not as wacky as you think it is, but uh, very affordable nowadays. Um, so yeah, this is the um, Temba Switch bag that I, that I got and I'm going to show you everything that this can store. As you can see, it's quite a bulky little thing at the moment um, when it's fully laden with all my camera equipment. And yes, it's reasonably reasonably heavy, but unfortunately my um, scales aren't working so I can't show exactly how heavy it is. Um, however, first off, as you can see here, is my tripod. Now this is one of the few bags that actually has tripod straps um, included. So I'm just gonna pull these off. There we go, just uh, out of the way. Um, this is the three-legged thing Viv. It's a 35 centimeter long tripod that folds out to um, 170, uh, 160 centimeters. Sorry, um, very useful when I was on holiday. It's a magnesium alloy, um, reasonably lightweight. I think maybe the carbon would be better if you're going to be traveling an awful lot. Um, I'll just put that there. You can't see that, but you will afterwards. That's fine. So to the bag itself, strap. Did reasonably well. It's not the thickest padded strap in the world, and with all that weight, it can get quite heavy, but it did its job. Um, lovely little zip here was fantastic. I don't have a capture clip yet, but this was great to be able to just pull your camera out of the top um, just for stealth as you were uh, moving around. Um, in the side pocket here, we've just got the waterproof case for it. So that actually folds out. It's um, black on one side, silver on the other. There we go. See, um, so if you're in a hot country, put silver on. If you're not, then you can put black on for stealth, as they say. Um, but it's you know quite useful. I use. I to be fair, I only used it once because this kept most of the water off. The only thing was this got a little bit wet when I wasn't using the uh, the cover because um, it rained quite heavily. But the camera equipment stayed dry, which was good. Um, has these lovely little clips and magnet pieces, so that worked really well. The clip was quite good. I think maybe I would have preferred something a little bit more secure, but. You know, those countries are fine. There's n n not a lot of crime there, to be honest. And um, inside the bag itself, I've just got the um, eight, uh, sorry, 16 to uh, to 50. Um, I never use it. <laughs> See the kit lens. I mean, you know, it's just that tiny, tiny little bit of glass in there. I've just never bothered um, using it. But by all means, if if that's good enough for you, it's per you know, it's good. They wouldn't sell a kit lens if it wasn't decent. I just, you know, personal preference, don't use it. So we'll pop that there. Um, next down in here, we've just got the rocket blower. Brilliant, everyone needs one of these. Um, they're like a fiver, um, really don't cost a lot, but they're very, very useful for cleaning your camera equipment with. Um, we've also got a tripod color, which I will show you for the big lens um, in a bit. And then the last thing in there is a pen, which I stole from a hotel. <laughs> Everybody needs a pen. Very useful when you're in an airport or on a plane trying to fill in visa documents. And it was handy that it was in my bag, ready to go. Sounds like the Lamborghini's being powered up outside. <laughs> one of our neighbors has got one, it's very noisy. Um, this is my camera, it's the Sony a6000 and I've got the Zeiss um, 16 to 70 mil lens on it. So the extra 20 mil um, above the uh, kit lens is actually just gives me that nice bit of uh, bit of reach to help me get those uh, last little bits and as you can see much much better looking piece of glass um, if you think the camera is like a 400 quid camera which is why this is perfect for most people absolutely brilliant camera and in fact with the lens it was 400 pounds because they were doing 100 pound cash back this lens was 570 so you can tell the glass costs more than the camera but that's kind of the way it's supposed to be to a certain degree um, but honestly this camera worked superb I used to have a um, Canon 450D which yes is an older camera but this was just perfect you know XAVCS video um, superb 24 megapixel shots great range great color very good in low light cheeky little bounce flash you know it, it just worked um, so one thing I haven't got in here is a flash which would probably somehow tuck down there when I'm done I will just put my camera up there um, next down in this little pocket here so as you see the camera can just pop here but you got this nice little pocket and oh down here very nice little hidden lens. It's a very handy little uh, thing to have. Um, this is your standard 50 mil um, f 1.8. Now, when I used to have Canon, they were called the Nifty 50s because you can get them for 50 quid. Not quite the same here because it's um, optically stabilized. But you know, 
Very nice piece of glass. It's a prime. It's nice, wide, and open, being an f1.8. Very bright, um, great colours. It's just, it's a very nice uh, portrait sort of lens. Um, ah, oh, the one that I really wanted to get, and I talked about in my other review, the 16 to 70 mil um, f4 Sony. Absolutely fantastic lens. This um, massive. <laughs> you know, with that little camera on the end, people do sort of look at you a little bit, but you can uh, sit. Uh, sit quite happy knowing that you've got better images than they have um, huge piece of glass in there and I'm, I know this looks like um, a bit daft that I'm just rating the piece of glass at the front it's just some one of those silly little things that when you're a kid you see those amazing cameras and they're just all glass at the front you think wow but this is you know a serious serious bit of kit um, not too heavy actually so it's not quite like the uh, 2.8 beer can as they call it um, but I'll pop that back there with my camera and that's everything in there. In fact, the only other thing I've got in the two pockets then is silica gel. Never ever throw this away, but equally never ever let it near children or animals. But if you get some, put it in your camera bag. It's gonna keep everything nice and dry in there. It soaks up any uh, moisture, but do check on them because um, I had a quick check in here before and one had disintegrated. Um, in this little side pocket here, they're designed for lens caps, but I've just got the uh, carabiner and Allen keys for my tripod so when I was on holiday I did need to, I did need to tighten the legs up slightly um, which was why it was useful to have and the carabiner is useful because you can clip it on the bottom to add additional weight so I could hang my camera bag off the bottom of it um, that's everything on the inside the two side pockets I've gone through there's nothing in this one uh, the other one had the um, other thing in it the uh, cover um, just in the back here you've got a little tablet um, pocket now what I have is my uh, little moleskin um, just for typing up any camera notes there's actually nothing in this at the moment because I've got to transfer everything across but that's what I will carry around with me um, just because I need you know it's always handy to write down your favorite settings or any uh, any tips and hints um, then in here I've got my little uh, oh, eight inch uh, Samsung tablet um, very useful little bit of kit just pops in there quite nice bought that in uh, in Hong Kong actually uh, it's tab Galaxy S2 8 inch really really good bit of kit pop that down there that's everything in the back of the uh, back of the thing this zip is just so that you can um, take this off and you can change it which is why it's called switch 10 so you could zip this off completely and put a different case uh, cover on there but actually I quite like the uh, the black and then these little things were great so as um, if it rained I think you could just pop these out and they would just help the rain from getting in the sides and it worked it worked well and um, just in this pocket here we've got some um, some screen cleaners um, etc there's just a little one from Jessup's there that they uh, they give you when you buy equipment from them um, just useful to have always always useful and to that end some lens pens honestly and um, this is the DSLR Pro kit which just means that you get uh, a filter one which means it's flat at the end so if I show you Ta -da. it's just flat with a little bit of carbon on the end of it um, and then a little brush pops out the other end for just sweeping off any of those um, there's particles and you've got your lens pen and you've got your um, micro pro which is basically for the viewfinder at the back that in conjunction with the um, rocket blower now this was probably about 15 quid rocket blower or fiver it's 20 quid and you can keep your equipment clean you know it's a no-brainer really um, that's everything out of there a nice little pocket to have and then just in the main pocket here told you this bag holds a lot <laughs> that's why the video is so long and um, i've got well it's tethered in here um, which is nice you've got these two little clips up here but this is the um tembo reload um sd where was it tembo reload sd9 so basically it means it's got nine slots that will fit uh, an sd card and what i do i've got my 64 gig um, Extreme Pro SanDisk up here, mainly because I need that 95 megabit per second read, uh, read write speed for the XAVCS um, codecs on the uh, the Sony A6000 when they released them. Um, but I've got two of those. I've just got some micro SDs which I used for my um, sports camera, which is what I'm filming this on. Um, and then also my tablet uses those. And then just a card reader at the bottom. And actually, what I do is when these I know are empty because they're at the top. If they're full, I push them down to the bottom, um, which is just a nice quick way of doing a workflow. If I need to pop that out, I can and put it in another part of the bag, fine. But it just gives me a workflow if I'm um, busy with taking pictures, etc., to make sure that I've uh, 
<laughs> I know where my memory is. Um, over on this side, if I just this doesn't come with its own clip like the other one does. <laughs> this is the Anchor um, PowerCore Plus 13400. Um, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a portable USB battery, so it has two ports on the top that can output at 2.4 amp per um, socket, so that's 4.8 total, um, which is much better than a lot of the batteries out there. Always check that milliamp rating, because that'll tell you whether it's decent or not. Um, this is great little 10, um, 10 light power, so you can tell how full it is. It's obviously full. Um, I use this in conjunction with these... Um, Ah, these anchor, um, the 30 centimeter long micro USB sockets, and I've also got an iPhone cable in there for anybody that needs an iPhone charger. Usually my wife, or um, if we happen to meet someone that needs it. Um, but absolutely fantastic bit of kit, charges your camera nice and fast, but what I can actually do is leave it in there, have the cable routed up, and I can charge the camera on the fly, and then I can put my phone in this pocket and charge my phone at the same time. So that worked so, so well when we were on holiday. Um, however, it's never a substitute for a spare battery. Always, always, always buy a spare battery, and if you can, please buy the genuine manufacturer. It's just going to last you longer and have better quality controls behind it. There will be some very good third-party batteries out there. Anchor, I believe, makes them. Um, I just haven't tried them yet, but for me, I would always buy the official one. For the sake of the extra 20 quid, you know, peace of mind and a decent warranty on it. Um, I also got the... Anchor, <laughs> it's a brand, I'm not sponsored or anything, I just, I like this brand, I, I started using some of their charging equipment, so, you know, this is, uh, this is one of their other chargers, I don't put it in the camera bag, but it means when I'm on holiday, um, one plug in the hotel, because, hey, when do you ever get more than one plug, and I can charge six things at once, just works, um, and as I say, ever since I bought that, I've started buying more Anchor stuff. I hope to start reviewing some more if they add me to their power program, but um, we'll see. But this is just a uh, SD, micro SD card reader, uh, USB 3, so nice and fast. Um, and I think that is everything. Oh, uh, last little bit in here is just a, there we go, um, little iPhone um, key thing. So it's just to pop open SIM cards or uh, on my tablet, it, you need to pop open the SD card slot. It's useful to have anyway. And then you've just got a little card holder there should you have any business cards if you're uh, if you're that good at, uh, at what you do. But that's it, that's everything in my bag. Very, very good bag, lasted me extremely well on holiday. If I just pan across, there we go, that's everything that I've got. Um, there we go, I'll pan up a bit, you can see more. Um, so that's everything that we've, we've managed to put in that bag, um, which is quite impressive really for such a small bag to have that much stuff in it superb um thank you for watching uh, i hope it helped if you're making a decision about you know what camera equipment to take with you or what bag you're looking at or if you're just curious like i am about what people have in their bags um please give it a thumbs up if you liked it you don't have to i don't think anybody will but you know please do if you if you can uh, and feel free to subscribe you know I'm, I'm trying to do videos as and when i can and when i get new bits of equipment because all this stuff i buy myself and then review if i like it all right thank you for your time cheers bye